Hello everyone, just out on a uh, an organised dig today. Going for a little while now and um, just dug this shallow hole. It looks like I might have had a uh, some kind of silver hammered. If we just look down here. It's in the uh, thin silver disc. Yeah, it definitely looks like a hammered coin. I'm guessing it's probably like an Edward Penny or maybe even a short cross. Who knows? Let's have a look. Yeah. Cross and pellets, so it's probably some kind of Edward Penny, I imagine. It's not bad. City Taz. L O N D O N. London Mint. Has he got a nice portrait? Yeah, it does. It does have a nice portrait, actually. That's a surprise. Yeah, lovely. So I imagine that's probably Edward the First. Yeah, nice portrait there. Nice full coin. Doesn't look to be clipped. Excellent. Let's carry on, see if we can get any more. Holy moly. So I've carried on and it looks like I might have just had a, um, a full stator, a full Celtic stator. If we just look down here in this clod. That definitely looks like a stator to me. I can't tell. I don't think it's anything else. Doesn't look like a quarter either. It looks bigger. So. Yeah, I definitely think that's a stator. That looks quite dished. Oh my God, I can't believe that. That is ridiculous. I want to be very, very gentle with this. Oh, I think it's out already. Oh my God. It's a weird shape. Could be like an Ambiani, like the war face with the horse, I think. Got a blank on one side. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's the, I think it's the Ambiani. It's quite an early stator. Look at that with the horse facing right. I cannot believe that. That is mental. I think it's plain on this side. I think they usually are. I think they're plain on this side. Yeah, with the horse on the other side, yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it looks like there's three pellets above the horse and then some sort of some squiggly lines. I don't know what they are, but I'm sure we'll, we'll find the exact type when I get home, so. Bloody brilliant. Well, that's that's what you do the hobby for. That's what you do the hobby for. To make finds like this. Get in there. That is brilliant. Okay, it's the last day of the uh, Rodney Cook Rally. Been gridding for a few hours and uh, looks like I've had a bit of luck. Just had this lovely, complete Iron Age brooch. What a lovely thing that is. Look at that. Completely peeing, it's bent up, but 
What a stunning find. Absolutely chuffed with that. Absolute cracker. <laughs> Look at that. Just under the surface. We're on a pinging signal, it's quite a low signal. What a stunning find. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Well happy with that. Hello everyone. So I've just uh, had a ping in signal. Lovely, lovely crisp tone. It was literally just under the surface. So I've only had to use my uh, my pin pointer. It was just in this little sort of crevice here that I'd sort of dug it out of. And I've seen this tiny little coin and well, it looks like a Saxon ski to me. Well, in fact, it, it definitely is. It's just got horn silver over the top of it. If we just look down here. I mean, that is just a very recognizable Saxon design. With like the four, well, with the squares going around a, a middle circle, like a, a circle, a pellet within a circle. And the other side, well, it looks like it could be a porcupine possibly. It looks like a porcupine to me. So that would make it a series uh, C, I believe. Uh, I think a series C or a series E. I can never, never get them straight in my head, but it looks like it will come up really nice. I mean, it's got a lot of, as I said, horn silver on it over the top. So it will take some, some fizzing in, in soda crystals to get that off. But I'm sure underneath there'll be a lovely Saxon skeet there. Um, Yeah, it definitely looks like a porcupine to me. Well, I mean, obviously you can't see too much at the moment because it's just got so much crud over it. But once we get that off, I'm sure there'll be a lovely design. Yeah, I mean, there's, you can definitely see like a two layered square. And then it looks like what would have been a uh, like a roundel within a, and maybe a pellet within that roundel. So that is lovely. Hello everyone, so probably about 15 minutes after I had that ski, walking out of the area, walking away from the area really, and it looks like I might have just found another one. You can see the portrait of the, the Saxon man, and well, there's text around the, the right hand side of his face. I, uh, I have no idea what series this is because we haven't, we haven't found one of these before. Look at that, shining in the sun. <laughs> that is lovely. Oh, it's got the totty, the totty uh, reverse, or standard, as, would, as you'd call it. Wow. That is looking lovely. <laughs> I did not think I'd be digging a coin like this up today. Well, what a day. What a day. Okay, everyone. I'm out on my own. Uh, Liam's working up London today, Nick's at work today, so I thought I'd uh, day off, I'd treat myself to a couple of hours out in the field, and I literally, I'm looking at my voice, I literally cried, because I found a bucket lister. Look, <laughs> oh, honestly, I cried. I know it's sad, pathetic, but I did. Oh my God. <laughs> Skeet, my first skeet that I've been chasing for 11 years has just popped out the ground. 
Oh, I am literally so happy. I could go home. Oh my god, I'm so happy. genuinely wouldn't even know where to begin what type it is or what but oh, <laughs> oh. god <laughs> oh I can't wait to phone up and tell the boys literally cannot wait to phone and tell them and I'm gonna grid this area like crazy oh that's what we do it for everyone exactly what we do it for Okay, sorry about the wind, it's a bit windy today, but Liam, look at the smile on Liam's face. <laughs> I was on the other side of the field, mum was on the other side of the field. I was down the bottom. And he called us over, and he's had gold. <laughs> Lovely. So, Jamming. definitely full You're sovereign. It's about the size of a pound coin, sort of diameter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's that way. That way up, you can see the line at the bottom. And it looks, it looks like it's George and the Dragon. Yeah, rather yeah, than no, a the slaying the dragon, yeah. Slaying the dragon. Yeah, look. See him right in there. Yeah. Just that make something out under there. I think there's the, the line at least at the bottom. I don't know whether the date is under that. Yeah. I think it might be. Um, Stunning, Liam. Give it a spurt of some water. Yeah, and I can see it's that way up as well with uh, Victoria. Is that like the old bus, do you think? I think it's a new oh, bus. Yeah, it, could, it could even be a Jubilee again. That's what it I mean. Looks Sorry, I mean like Jubilee. Jubilee. It looks like it's a Jubilee. It's got the, bell, like the yeah. bell down the back of the head. That's what yeah. I mean, old bus. So it looks like a Jubilee. Jubilee. You can pick it off without rubbing, rubbing it. Oh, I just get it really yeah. wet. It's camera wet. <laughs> just really spray it. Yeah, really spray it hard. Yeah, it's definitely got the vowel down the back. So it's a jubilee. Yeah. It looks jubilee, yeah, actually. Jubilee, actually yeah. yeah. Yeah, look, you can see the mud just coming yeah, off slowly. Oh, look at that. That, that is, doesn't look like it's been touched, does it? Almost looks like the day it was lost. It really does. Yeah, it really so blasts it. It's like, it. like stuck it on her face. <laughs> I don't want to, like, pick it off, though. Just... Oh, we both... <laughs> <laughs> Joint effort, give it a wash. <laughs> It doesn't look like there's any marks on it, really. That's quite stuck yeah. on mud, so I wouldn't touch that. Um, I wouldn't scrape oh, that anymore. Over. Let's do the back then. I just want to see. Well, stand behind, just shoot this wind. Oh, God, I can't get up. <laughs> what, this side? That's better, yeah. I'm going to try to shoot this wind. It doesn't really look like it's got any marks on it at all, actually. Oh, no, it's immaculate, Liam. Look at that. The date is at the bottom. Eighteen ninety something. It's going to be in the nineties because that's when the my uh, my half sovereign was eighteen ninety two, I believe. Yeah. So that's that is around the period when the the jubilee, you know, coinage is being released. I think it's the same date. You know, I think it's it's eighteen ninety two. It is the same yeah. date. Yeah. Bang on. Wow. Same date. Look what a wonderful reverse that is. Look at that. Yeah. Stunning. That is mint. Literally, that is mint. Absolutely stunning. So that is George, isn't it? Slaying the dragon underneath a horse, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You jammy bugger. <laughs> That's what it's about. That's why we yeah, do it. Yeah. He wanted to go Lovely. home. Oh, well, I was. I was about to walk off the field. But I thought I'd quickly well, we try in this area. Yeah, oh, there you go. Off now. It's off just now. Needed a bit of softening. Yeah, it just soaked, didn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Look at that. There you go. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Has it, got a, has it got a scratch on her face? I don't know. So I'm going to go in. No. Like on a, actually on her like, cheek. Turn it cheek up, just angle it a bit. I think it's just... Or is it, it just might water? be a little bit of a... Yeah, it might in be a little bit of a scuff across downwards. In front of her nose, maybe, but... I mean, Liam, it's minimal. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. Turn it around a bit, Liam. Beautiful, rich gold, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what carrot that is. 
22, yeah. 22 or 24. Yeah, 22. Right. Absolutely stunning. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, it's got a well, fall. that was worth coming out today. Yeah, it was. It was. And you were moaning. I can't believe you were, you were the one that was sat down. Well, bored. I did. I did sit down because I just weren't getting any, any targets, any signals. So I, I was going to call it a day. Just the angle of it, look, across the sun. Oh. Yeah, look. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Literally just shines. Yeah. Can't beat Lovely. that beautiful gold. Well, that's that's my first sovereign and, and second mill coin. Obviously, my first being found in this pretty much exact same spot. So, the finding the first one led, led to me to finding this, this 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 second <laughs> one. I actually, I mean, when I found my half sovereign last year, I took pictures on my phone, photographs of the field, so I knew exactly where I'd found it. So, it was sideways and looking up towards different parts of the field just so I could work out you know where about to come up so that if I ever wanted to come back I'd know roughly where to go so I had a quick look 10 minutes ago and thought all right I'm roughly in the area let's do some gridding <laughs> that's why it's and always it worth up. just making a note yeah, it isn't it just note down where this spot is exactly yeah you never know it could be a, a purse loss or sometimes even a hold but I think in this case just a purse loss wow super it's not every day you find gold <laughs> Oh no, well, nice unless your name's Nick Argent, then you, know, you find, find <laughs> oh, gold a lot, right. but, you know. <laughs> That's stunning, mate. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Absolutely. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Wow, that nice. wow, wow. Okay, we're out on pasture today, lovely sunny day. Um, been going for about an hour and not got much apart from modern coinage and all of a sudden Liam's called me over he's got a looks like a heraldic pendant so it's something old at, at last so it looks, um, it looks um, promising definitely if you're hitting stuff like that it's got to be around about 1400s 1500s yeah so, so it looks like it's got a chevron design chevron. isn't it yeah it looks like there's, there's traces of gold gilt on it as well got a bit of water on it Yeah, still, uh, that's still a, still a bit design, of history. Isn't it? That free chevrons. Definitely, yeah, definitely. yeah. It's, obviously, you can see why it was lost. I guess the loop's broken. But it shows. Yeah, it's history. Shows. It's the first time yeah. we've been on this uh, pasture field, so yeah. it's always nice to find something old, and then we can yeah. obviously start concentrating, homing in on the area. So, yeah, looks good. So, oh, well, for that. Well done, mate. Hello everyone, well carried on on this pasture and now uh, looks like this one's had a bit of luck. Looks like a, um, a hammered of some kind. There had to be hammered on here. Yeah, exactly. After you found that heraldic pendant. Exactly that. So it looks like. I would say it's a half groat looking at it. Yeah, it's, Maybe. Got, two, it's got two lines of writing, hasn't it? So exactly, and it, but it's not quite the size of a groat. I'll give it a spray. Let's see what we've got. Looks a bit brown, as you say. Yeah, a bit brown, but I reckon that'll clean up. I mean, it might not be clipped. It might just be a bit off-struck, perhaps. No, I think it is clipped. So half groats are about that sort of size. Well, if it's got a nice portrait on it, then that'll be a result. Looks like there's detail there. I think, uh, that way, I think yeah. you've got to turn it around a, a tiny bit more. Bit more, that's it. Now I can see him facing towards me. Yeah. Uh, the portrait looks nice, you know. It looks like there's some good detail there. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it looks pretty full. I don't think he's that clipped, actually. I mean, you can see most of the outer writing on the obverse, and same with the reverse yeah. as well. London. It looks like London Mint. City Tours, London. Oh, no. Is that oh, Tour? No, on. Tour, isn't it? Cantor? Uh, T-O-R, you're right. Yeah, it's Cantor. Is it Cantor? It's Cantor. Yeah, Canterbury. Yeah. Civitas Cantor, yeah. You can get it with the third Canterbury Mint, can't you, I think? so. Yeah, or oh, it might even be later. It might even be like Unless a... Unless it's there with the Like a... I mean, it looks like he's got some interesting like detail. Before, it's actually got a little... It it's might, got a trefoil on, by his neck. Yeah, well, it might be a Henry... It might be a Henry the... Uh, well, I think it says E at the top, though. I'm sure I can see an E. Unless it's HG. Might be a Henry. If he's got if he's got a little trefoil beside the neck. It has. Yeah, yeah I reckon right it could side. be Henry the Sixth. Henry the Sixth. It yeah. could be. Yeah, Maybe. Henry the Sixth, or it's not a double arch crown, is it? So yeah, you know, I'm going for Henry, uh, 
Henry the Sixth. If it's Henry the Sixth, then I suppose that's about the same age as the Baroque pendant, then really, sort of yeah. mid fourteen fifty around that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, lovely. I'm, that's, happy, that's I'm really happy with nice. that. Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Hello everyone. I've been going for quite a few hours now. I'm absolutely caked in mud. Look at my shoes. But I think I might have been rewarded with what looks like to be a potin. So if we just look down here. A shallow signal really. I just had to use my pinpointer. Uh, look down here. It looks like a, a black round disc. And I'm pretty sure that is a potin. Looks like you can see the ball there. Looks like a ball. I'm hoping there'll be a face on the other side. Yeah, in fact, you can see the face. He's facing left. You can just about see the nose and where the eye would have been. I want to be delicate with this, so I'll won't do any, mu any more than that at the moment, but I'm really chuffed with that. Full potin. That's excellent. I reckon it's probably a, a Farrock type. So, yeah, that's early, that is. Okay. What we'd uh, come out for a little dig today, Easter Sunday. <clears throat> Lovely weather, really warm. Uh, had a signal, maybe, I don't know, six inches, and uh, a bit of silver. Not overly old, but 1818, George III. It looks in nice condition as well, actually. Uh, around there, it's got a crown on the top. Lovely, take that. You have a really high pitch signal on the on the dash too. I'm running light so I, I couldn't tell you what number it was, but yeah, lovely. Okay, Liam has called me over. I was literally half a mile away because he's found a nice coin and said, come film it for me. Yeah, first time out of 2023. And it's the end so, of a very long day. Yeah, it's been a very long day. We've just been digging up nothing but trash. Yeah. So I was, half, I was half expecting this to be a tin can. It was just a very shallow signal. Just use my pinpointer. But saw a massive silver hammer looking back at me. So, yeah, great way to, to end the day. Yeah, that's really brown. Yeah, that's really brown. Yeah, quite brown. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you could right. definitely see a shield on yeah, there. Shield. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a James looking at that shield. Yeah, I mean it looks like the details all there. It it's is. just it's just brown, but I think with a bit of lemon juice. That's a nice coin. Flip it over. Can you zoom in at all? Do I want to zoom in at all? Hmm. Yeah, the way the shield sort of is a, a flat top. I'm pretty sure that is a James, not a, not a Charles. Yeah, I mean, I'm, on these shillings, you can often get worn out portraits, you know, usually there just isn't anything there. Uh, but it looks like there's something there, you know, I think there is a portrait. Um, just trying to work it out. Oh, I see it. Oh, I see it. So it's that, it's that way up. Yeah. It, it might just be a sixpence, you know, rather no, than a shilling. No, it's shilling. too big. Oh, no, it is a shilling, yeah. It's too big. I thought I could just see VI, but you can see XII, yeah. yeah. and then you can see his portrait there facing right. So it's That's definitely, big. definitely James, <laughs> James the first. So, um, I don't think shillings would have a date on them above the shield. So, I think the sixpences did, but the shillings, I don't think there's a date. So, the only way we're going to work out the date of this is... Mint mark. By the mint mark. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So. <laughs> I can't get up. Oh, let's get up. 
sometimes uh, <laughs> it's nice finding a like these because uh, yeah, you can go all day and find absolutely nothing. It makes the, the perseverance pay off. You know? It really so, does. Um,